Today, I'm going to be talking about empathy. I got empathy, empathy once. Empathy is like when you're feeling for someone else. If someone lost something they really love, you, sometimes you could just make a picture in your mind and feel for someone else. Like if you lost something you really love, that's how you feel for others. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Learn On. I'm Jim Sander with EverFi, and today we're recapping the National Compassion Challenge and talking with teachers about how they've experienced the power of compassion in their own classrooms. This November, we challenge students all over the country to reflect on the concept of empathy and share their thoughts, stories, and plans for action. Let's see what they came up with. There was a boy who bullied me and colored my shoe. I was so sad. I got empathy when I let someone borrow my school supplies. It made me feel good. And I also got empathy when I sticked up to a bully at school. Hey guys, it's Miss Bontemprato here. I just wanted to take a minute um, as we continue working on empathy and compassion to talk to you today about a moment when I experienced compassion and empathy. Today in the afternoon Google Meet, um, when I do a check-in with students, Alexis came on. She normally doesn't come on. And I said, hey, Alexis, it's good to see you. What can I help you with today? And she said, Miss M, I just wanted to check on you today. Because this morning, you seemed a little upset because, you know, maybe not everybody was doing all the right things they need to do. And it's December. Right? And we've been on remote learning a few months now. And so I guess Alexis was compassionate and she was empathetic and she put herself in my shoes. And she could understand that, you know, we don't always have the best day, but we have to do our best to move forward. And Alexis, thank you so much for checking on me. I'm better now and I'm gonna be even better tomorrow when we do more work. And I'm so happy that you're putting what we're learning into practice as far as empathy and compassion go. One student in the class said, I can't imagine feeling that way. And the quote was about um, just believing in yourself. And he then went on to say that he felt like he was a nobody and that he would never amount to anything. And so she just said it was so beautiful how the class just kind of wrapped around him and, you know, just lifted him up and gave, um, just gave him such a boost of confidence. What I was really proud of right now and this is what I was going to show you if I can get it up here. And this is what our students have been doing. It really, you know, we say that, you know, this generation is entitled and, and they tend to be a little self-centered. I think that COVID and the isolation a little bit has started to make them really think about what they're thankful for. And, and several students in different classes, including my teaching class, you know, they're like, you know, we're really thankful for our teachers. That's what we need to tell them that. And so, you know, writing those cards, getting those little notes, I know that's been a boost to the teachers um, to have something unexpected in their mailbox and just to thank you, thank you for being you. We were so inspired by the stories from the National Compassion Challenge that we wanted to hear from some teachers about how they cultivate moments like these with their own students. Showing vulnerability to the students is very important, being very vulnerable and showing them that teachers are also experiencing this. And we have been stressed and, and they really appreciate that openness. I also try to build a classroom built on like equity and mutual understanding. So we build classroom guidelines and I always tell them, you know, these rules apply to me as well. So just like you might not be interrupting each other, I'm not going to interrupt you. Um, if I do something that you don't agree with, please let me know. So I feel like we really try to build classroom environments built on, again, that mutuality, that respect, that transparency, and, you know, also firm boundaries. Um, I feel like one thing I learned is I might not be your friend because I'm an adult, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be there for you or that I'm not going to um, listen to you or treat you as an equal. So 
I think you have to look at the whole child. I mean, it's just, you can, teachers, we can't afford in, in our, in our current educational system, we can't afford to be tunnel vision with just our content area. These stories of compassion exist in every school, and we'd love to hear yours. Share your story in the comments below, and thank you for watching Learn On.